Um, I was a little sad this morning because I, you know, dropped Levi off and, oh, like a mother, um, you know, it's just sad because you go through seasons and um, it made me think about this business and, and how much we go through seasons in our life. Um, you know, Levi being my youngest, dropping him off at school today was seriously super sad for me. Um, but you know, there's seasons and I can't keep him from enjoying just an amazing day and just building so many fun memories at preschool. So, I mean, that's exciting, but, um, what I wanted to talk to you guys about was just your It Works business and planting seeds. Um, there, I really truly believe um, that as you grow your business, there is so much that you can see um, in the physical to the spiritual. And that whole planting of seeds, that process of sowing or um, planting watering you always will see a harvest you'll see growth happen you'll reap what you sow right that's the famous um word is that you'll reap what you sow so if you're sowing seeds they will um take growth they will grow and you're going to see a harvest you will reap a harvest sometimes people don't realize that you know, for what one person's story is could look completely different than someone else's story. So, you know, my sowing, my planting, my watering um, may look different than someone else's planting, watering, and harvest. Um, I just really feel like it's important that nobody compares their journey to anyone else's, but that if you're faithful, if you're faithful with the small things and you're faithful with the continual consistency of growing your business, you will reap a harvest. Um, you will find those who are as passionate as you are in this business. And I really think that like this is a really good time to talk about this because a lot of people um, have super high passion come January, new goals, new dreams, and they work as hard as they can for a good five to six months, then their passion starts to wait, um, fade. They see setbacks or they get discouraged and then they just honestly get lazy. So they stop sowing their seeds. When you stop sowing your seeds, you're not going to have growth. You're not going to reap the harvest. What you have to remember in this business, especially with It Works, is that you've got to be a continual seed planter. And as you are planting those seeds, you will begin to see growth. You're going to see it. Um, I was talking to my friend about the uh, last night, actually, about a bamboo um, and the way that the bamboo grows. So. A bamboo will be planted and I don't know like the complete facts but basically I want you to get the story behind it is that the bamboo can be planted as a seed and it has to be watered and maintained and looked after for like four years you don't even see it sprout you see nothing from it it's in the ground and you're watering it and you have to water it for four years before you ever see anything happen but when it actually blossoms it grows within within six weeks the bamboo shoot shoots up to over um the size of a building now that is insane growth um just completely shocking and uh that is amazing and i really feel like even with your businesses you're not it's not going to take you four years to see any sort of fruit from it but you know if you were to walk away from that bamboo seed um while it was in the ground it would never sprout. You have to water it every single day in faith, in good faith, thinking and knowing that it's actually going to take place. Well, four years is a really long time not to see any fruit, right? You wanna see something. Well, the good news is, is that it's not gonna take you that long to see the amounts, uh, um, the immense amount of fruit that you can gain from this business. But basically what I'm saying is that you guys have got to stay focused on your why because it is so easy to um, at the starting line to hear the gun go off and you take off and you're running and you're sprinting and you just exhaust yourself and then you're like well I'm done I don't know about you but if I were to run a marathon right now 
it would probably take me two days when everyone else who is prepared is going to take like, what, three hours or something. It would take me two days, but guess what? I would not stop until I finished the race. Even if I were crawling, bleeding with skin knees and hurt feet, I would finish the race even if it took me longer than anyone else and I really feel like with this business you have to decide in your head and in your heart that no matter what you are going to stay consistent you're gonna water you're going to plant seeds constantly and you are going to reap the harvest so this new year for me for my team I feel very strongly about it. I This past year has been a year of being fearless. Um, it has been a year to get out of our comfort zones, to um, reach people we've never reached before, to, to speak when we don't want to speak because we're reaching out to be fearless. And um, I really feel like this new year is going to be a year of harvest for us. We are going to see everything that we have been planting this past year just come to fruition. It's going to be an incredible amount of fruit. Um, we are going to see immense blessing. Um, you know, if a baby was to be born and grow its normal growth rate, that is beautiful and amazing. But I think the baby that we all birthed in this business is going to grow faster and stronger and better than anything you guys have ever seen before. So this is your year, 2016 is your year. So continue to plant those seeds, continue to water it, continue to stay, keep yourself inspired and motivated because 2016 is going to be your year of harvest. And I am speaking that over everyone in this business and I believe it with all of my heart. So I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. And um, I just hope that this encouraged and spoke to someone. Let me know on my Facebook or message me or put it on our team page if it did, okay? Um, if that rings true to you, then uh, just reach out and let me know. Love you guys.